It's time to review Just Die Already! From Mikhail, that hurts! That's the name of the game! Oh! And the game is a chaos simulator with rare door physics and a very dark humor from the creators of Goat yeah. Simulator! You play a very old person in a world that doesn't exactly respect old people and you decide to make such a mess in the retirement home that they throw you out so you can live a little before you die. And you can explore the world by yourself or in co-op or PvP with up to four players. While you're running around in this world, really the goal is just to create as much chaos as you possibly can. I mean, there is the goal to try to find tickets. With those tickets, you can buy new weapons. And if you get enough tickets, you can buy free retirement care, which is probably the way the game wants you to play. But it's just about trying to do as many crazy things as possible. Yeah. But you have a, also a bucket list, a goals to follow. And if you succeed in that, you're going to get points. And there are several vending machines that you can buy new things to try out and to have fun with. You can also find lots of secret rooms and lots of combinations of things that you can do like driving a steamroller, de derailing a train, playing basketball. So you can run around and try to find all the secrets. And you can also break your arm or break both legs, amputate it, even your head like cut off and still be alive. But you can respawn anytime so there's no death penalty everything about this game is over the top the ragdoll physics the violence is over the top you definitely need to be okay with lots and lots of blood on the screen because that's a big part of this and game. lots of chaos lots of chaos so the question is should you play it but first you should know that this game is free from the epic game store you can claim it and keep it forever the week of april 28 2022 but should you play it this game should be very fun, uh, but it is very frustrated, especially because the beginning, the retired home, uh, it took me half an hour to get out. And then the left and right hand is very clunky. It's very buggy. Uh, even in co-op, other players get stuck into each other. And it's a year later when the game should be fully patched. And even when it's okay, I don't see a point in playing this game because it's too weird for me. So mm. no. It is very weird. It is very violent. I mean, it's cartoony graphics, but yeah. I still found it a little bit disturbing to mm -hmm. be basically a, at some points a hunk of meat just kind of rolling yeah. around. Like I don't I don't I don't get that humor really. Maybe you do, in which case no judgment, and maybe you like seeing old people get murdered over and over, in which case lots of judgment. Don't do that. But I also think that this could be fun as a sandbox simulator, but I just didn't see, nothing was pulling me through. I didn't see clear goals, and the end result was just violence and mayhem that didn't really bring me much happiness or satisfaction. It's too over the top for me. Uh, you may have seen a lot of your favorite YouTubers playing it, and it's a lot of fun to see other people playing it, but my experience of actually trying to have fun my own makes it a pretty easy no for me. I think you made a good point because I think I rather watch some other YouTubers playing the game than actually playing it by myself because there were some famous YouTubers like PewDiePie and others who played it. It was probably fun to look at. Uh, there was a similar game like Escapist. Mm -hmm. We also get it free from mm -hmm. Epic. Mm -hmm. And that was the same case. While playing it, I didn't enjoy it. But you don't have to take our opinion. Let us know what you think down in the comments. And there's lots more free games coming. We give you our opinions about every single one of them each week. So whether you agree with our opinions or not, stay with us and you will never be bored again. Hopefully see you next time. Bye. Bye.